Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Footnotes. This one is a special one. We got Al La Archives, we got Izzy the Incredible, and we are covering none other than the Mojo Verse. If you have no idea what that is, you're about to find out what that is. Give me your Mojo Verse right now. Right now. The creation, what's going on, how it ties in the sheet hall what that references, who that references, who that connects to, and how many myths are about to get busted. Pause. There you go. Um, Mojo is basically a pan-dimensional cable streaming service exec. He's from a mist of uh, extra dimensional race called the Spineless Ones. And they move on, they move around using these like uh, fancy, crazy looking machines in the She-Hulk episode, which was basically the season finale, we saw the Kevin and the way they made the Kevin look, and especially the room that he was in, looks straight out of Mojo's uh, dimension. The grand director, his name is Mojo, okay? And he has a director's chair, it literally like, looks like some kind of spider machine or something with cameras and, and so forth. And that's where, as soon as I saw the way Kevin dropped that, you know, it's, it's, uh, 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 well, drop down from the ceiling to position itself, ne- uh, you know, in front of Jen. I was like, "Holy crap, Mojo verse!" Yeah. You think of Mojo, you think of mutants, you think of Long Shot. That's yep. a star character. And and being that we're in a reality world, it would make sense because that's what Mojo does. And then you got Arcade, another guy that deals with that type of fun. Yeah. And then the Fun. thing goes, the funny thing is, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, characters like Shatterstar, who already appeared in Deadpool 2, uh, if we see characters like Longshot, or even Rachel Summers, or Spiral. Um, Spiral, definitely. That's his assistant. Yeah. Um, and the, the funny thing is that in the comics, Mojo was responsible for the creation of the X Babies. They're basically clones of the X Men, but in like toddler or like preteen form. He's he's on point with everything so far. What he's saying. Um, I want to add that uh, Mojo would be, if he uses power for good, he would be the perfect narrator to like to narrate all of the universes because he can easily go into Wanderverse and give us Wanderverse season two and he could be like the narrator that like the Crypt Keeper. Fright Court is now in session. Will the defendants please approach the bench? He's he's like good for that if he would use his power for but then he's really into like entertaining himself in a Coliseum way. Like he's like the Coliseum owner and he wants to see these fights. So he's like something more like um the collector's brother and a lot of more personality. He's a funny guy. So put it like this. The fact that y'all saying Mojo verse, keep this in mind. The fact that you said it was a person that narrates everything. Do y'all not remember <laughs> also also in this episode, Jen for the first time had someone narrate her episode. Let's go. I found it. Uncanny X-Men. Volume 1, annual number 10, first appearance of X-Babies. This is where Mojo really made his presence known. No one has spoken about this, and it's about time. Al, you may have just blown something up again. You right. wild, um, wild man. Okay, well, I'm going to blow up some more, because Mojo directly ties into Captain Britain, because of what he did to Captain Britain's sister. Um, Captain Britain's so sister like. uh, got her eyes literally clawed out um, by an assassin um, in a fight. So she was blind for several years. Well, in a New Mutant storyline, when Mojo was basically trying to, you know, hack the New Mutants, you know, treated them as like his new toys, he gave uh, Captain Britain's sister, uh, Betsy Braddock, new eyes. They're biosynthetic eyes. Those eyes serve as interdimensional cameras for his streaming service. So whatever she's seeing is live is, is live streaming back to uh, his his uh, director's chair, his director's room. Do you think? Uh, 
that Mojo um kind of like uh controls her multi personalities too. Psylocke. Well, well, no, 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 no. Psy Psylocke has two personalities because of she got fused on a mental and physical level with Quanon, a mutant known as Quanon. That mm. got sorted out recently. Mm. That got sorted out in um, uh, right before the X of Swords event, if I recall correctly. So we're not even, you know. Mm. Uh, but but that ties into the hand because Quanon was actually a hand ninja. Wow. Yeah. Um, another thing. Spiral can actually open up dimensional gateways. And she worked, uh, she was a member of a group called Freedom Force. Yeah. Who was led by Steve. Okay. And Valerie Cooper was their boss. When, um, when the US government stopped trusting the Avengers, they sent Freedom Force to hunt them down. So uh, Spiral is no joke. Definitely no joke. Um, she can basically travel to any dimension she wants. Okay. Um, she, it, it's, it's her base ability. Uh, Mojo, the longer he's in a dimension outside of his own, the more damage he does to that dimension. Like it, they showed him when he was on Earth, the longer he was on Earth, the more like life around him, Earth life around him started dying. You see literally plants dying. Okay. He has like a, a, a light drain touch or something like that. It's weird. He has like a death aura. If, the, if what you're saying is, is like connected, what we saw had nothing to do with Gwenpool. What we saw had nothing to do with anything other than the Mojo verse. Just due to the fact we had the narrator. We don't know who that narrator was, but because Jen is who she is, and because she breaks the walls, we just looked at it as a, oh, that was a funny little thing thrown in there. And I say it all the time, Marvel don't show you anything for no reason. So if that is the case, I think we may have just figured out something that no one else did. CJ is gonna be pissed off. Oh no, Al, you could jump in. That's your show. <laughs>